I had this um, Power Mac G5 today and I was already frustrated because of the lack of USB ports. So I went in the cable box under the stairs and I found two um, PCI USB expansion cards exactly the same. One of them is already in the machine and working. As you can see in the bottom slot is my AGP graphic card. Above it are three PCI X slots. The middle one has my PCI USB expansion card in it. Okay, I'm gonna close the computer back up. Um, I don't know if you can make that out there. It's a VT6212L. And I did type that into Google and it came up and it's very cheap. It was probably a bit more expensive when I bought it because I've had this, these two cards for years. I also found a Firewire card from, that's made by the same company, I think. If you look at the chip there, and I'm hoping this will work too. I have an extra two Firewire as well as the Apple. I'll take you on the back. I've got some, i got cheap PC speakers that are powered off USB. I don't want them to be extremely loud because I won't be playing music on this computer, just editing. Um, I've already took one of the plates out there ready for my wireless card. I did test one I already had, but it didn't work. So I've ordered an airport card off eBay. Um, this was pot luck, I think, that this USB card worked because people are like asking questions online when I researched it. Which card is compatible, blah blah blah. And I was very lucky. Please remember that not all Power Mac G5s have the same slots as mine. Some only have PCI slots, some have two PCI Express slots and two PCI X slots, etc, etc. You just have to check your model online, or if you recognise the slots, that's even better. If you're a bit confused by slots, I'll just leave this picture up here for a bit. If you look at the top at the PCI Express, there's only like two like slots inside the slot and there's normally like little notches either end and in the middle you can see the two white PCI slots and on the bottom there is the PCI X slot which is basically a 64 bit slot and when you put the smaller P PCI um, card that normally goes in the little white slots into there it um, it will run in a 32 bits backwards compatible then. I believe the card I put in is the top one in this diagram, um, a universal 32 bit PCI card. Obviously the middle one I think is a no go because it's not even going to fit into that slot. I'm not sure about the third one. You I've never owned one of these Macs before so it's going to be a learning curve for me. The only Mac I've ever owned is an iMac G3 which you might have seen in my previous videos. Um, I suppose I will learn like I did with PCs. Um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Over and out.